This is an absolutely amazing set of vocal performances, an incredible ensemble we've curated from 16 vocalists from across the UK. Absolutely breathtaking legato and a brand new feature we've developed called Episodes, as well as loads of other unique articulations. This is a sound you're about to fall in love with. This is Alt Choir. <laughs> Choir is a chamber-sized vocal ensemble consisting of 16 singers, four in each section. So you've got sopranos, altos, tenors and basses, all recorded in situ at the nave. So you've got this really nicely balanced stereo image across the whole library. But each one of those sections was recorded in isolation. So you've got total and complete control over each one of those sections and what you want to do with it. Now the feeling of the whole library we wanted to go for is human captured performances live in the studio. So there's nothing overly polished or overly processed, nothing too perfect. It, we wanted it to feel alive with human energy and that's exactly what we've got. Now we're going to start off with the episodes because that is the heart of the library. This is like improvisations on a whole new level. This is your get out of jail free card. This is inspiration on tap. This is episodes. <laughs> Absolutely breathtaking. So what these episodes are is we got the sopranos, altos and tenors each to perform their own musical part, their own unique part. And then the basses are holding down these long sustained improvised notes underneath that. And we recorded them across all of the keys, major and minor, and then different vowel sounds and multiple dynamic layers as well. So what you can do with it is absolutely amazing. Now, we just heard that in G minor, you've got all of the keys, so I'm going to choose F major here and then you'll see what it sounds like in a different key. And how this is laid out on the keyboard is the green keys are the episodes. So these are the different harmonies that we recorded. And then the blue keys are the improvisations. So like when you play an A, it will play an A, but it's still moving and still evolving and still sounds interesting. So if I just play a G major chord now, a G minor chord now that I'm in, uh, you'll hear what I mean.
And then the episodes, they do work with different dynamics and vowel sounds. Now they were recorded at 105 beats per minute and by default the tempo sync is normally off so they'll just sing at the tempo that they were recorded at but you can hit tempo sync and then it will move all of the performances to rise and fall and to play dynamically with whatever tempo that you've got your DAW to set. But I quite like it off because it sounds, it sounds more organic and it sounds more alive but you choose what you want to do with them. Now the episodes, each, each of their performed parts is broken out uh, in each of the sections so the sopranos the episodes that they played are all there same with the altos and same with the tenors but where you'll get most mileage out of this I think is in the ensemble patch where they're all laid out together across the keyboard and you can just start making ideas and, and creating stuff on the fly and this is where you're going to get the most inspiration from it is using them in this ensemble patch there's legato on each of the four sections separately so you can control them completely independently. You've got two different versions, improvised and standard legato. Standard is much more of a sustained controlled note. And then the improvised one is much more natural movement and dynamics in there. And I've got the speed control set here to its slowest so you can really feel that glide that we captured between the notes. But if you bring the speed control up you can play a bit faster. some of that glide in there but I prefer it set to its slowest setting down here. Let's move on to the altos next, so standard legato. Oh. And then the improvised version. Oh. And then let's move on to the tenors, so the standard version. Oh. Finally, the bases. So what I've got to show you now is just a really simple vocal harmony I've pulled together for this walkthrough. Each one of the sections is just singing a simple line uh, and I'll show you with the, the standard legatos first and then the improvised ones. Just to show you the legatos in a bit more context so they're in a bit more of like a real world situation. So I've got the MIDI data on screen so you can see it. There's no awards for this composition but hopefully it should let you hear exactly what they sound like. <laughs> This is the version with the improvised legatos, exactly the same uh, MIDI data, but now we've just switched over to the improvised version of the legato. <laughs> Really 
nice. It's just like adding that little natural life to it and emotion. It's not loads, it's not absolutely overpowering, it's just really nicely done. Uh, and I'm really pleased with how that sounds. So use the legato if you just want to hold back and just make them feel really sustained and really static. Use the improvised version of those legatos if you just want some natural life and, and energy in those notes. Right, let's move on to a few of the other sounds now. So I'm going to move back to the ensemble patch now just so you can hear them all together at the same time. But each one of these is broken down in their own sections as well. short so got R and ooze and then big together as well sound great and then these waves as well which I'm a massive fan of The short ones, the long ones are even more beautiful. And again, you can stack these up to get a, a blended sound. So let's have a look at some of the individual sounds now you've got on each one of the sections. On the altos and the tenors, you've got these moving fifths. Absolutely beautiful. So moving between the note that you're playing and a fifth above it. This is what they sound like on the tenors. Absolutely lovely. And then we'll stay on the tenors and you've got these moving thirds. So again, moving between the note that you're playing and a third above it. If you hit more gently, you'll get the minor third. And if you hit a little bit harder, you'll get the major third. seconds as well which sound great absolutely amazing on the bases you've got this uh, drone uh, sound which is really good for just holding down a textural sound at the bottom really nice just gently drifting between the R and the O sound really nice and then these uh, fifth versions as well
Lovely. And then soft ums. And you've also got these on the tenors as well, which sound great on the second page. Really soulful, soft sound if you just wanted something to sound vocal and sound human underneath the composition, but nothing to stand out too much. Those are the ones to use. Uh, breathy sustains you've got on a couple of these as well. same kind of thing as well if you just needed that kind of like human emotion in a score or on a piece of music but you're not interested in it being the top line and being it kind of like you know the hero of the piece but you still wanted something in there those are definitely the ones to use we've got pitched whispers as well Really cool, a bit more dramatic and a bit more tense, those pitch whispers. So really good for like drama scores and that kind of thing. Uh, the next thing uh, we're going to show you is the uh, percussion that we recorded. So these again, we recorded each one of these sounds in each one of the sections. So you can play them on their own if you just wanted individual sounds or combined together to make a really big percussive sound. So you've got stomps and claps at the bottom. and then loads of different vocal percussion sounds as well at the top. And I wasn't aware of this when we were recording them, but now I'm playing them back. This probably reminds me of the first ever kind of time I was aware of sampling was a thing with a band called The Art of Noise and they did obviously loads of sampling on their records and some of these sounds really bring me back uh, to when I was like seven eight years old and hearing this record for the first time and going how the hell has that music been made? <laughs> loads of different sounds in there and obviously all the different sections doing them at, at different uh, styles Really nice. Each one of them, again, across, they were doing them in place in the studio, so you can hear where each one of those sounds has come from. So absolutely loads across all of those four different sections. Loads of different styles recorded in their own right, so you can mix and match all those different sounds to however you want. So the last part of the library is the textures instrument that we've created and this is where we've taken all of the mountains of source material, all of the original sessions and done all sorts of things to them to come up with these 12 individual sounds. Guitar tape, pedals, loopers, you name it, all sorts of different production techniques to come up with these sounds. And these don't sound much like real vocals anymore. They're not supposed to. They're much more designed for kind of like modern producery styles. And then dare I say it, like 80th synths and those kind of things where you need that in your score. Really interesting, really unique. They still feel organic. They still feel alive. And you'll hear the vocals in there, but they're definitely not designed to feel natural anymore. So let's have a little play with a few of them now.
so that is it that is alt choir the team again have smashed it out of the park on this one they always do uh, but this one is no exception there's mountains of content in this to keep you busy whether you're a film composer singer songwriter producer game soundtrack designer or like loads of you are you're just bedroom hobbyists doing this for fun you're going to get loads of use out of this and it is fun to play with and that's the, that's the number one thing we always try and do with our libraries is are they just fun to use like above all else you should enjoy using and it. it shouldn't be a chore to use it you should open it up and it should just be like oh this is great because the more fun you're having the more music and the more emotion you're going to put into your own music but there is emotion in bucket loads in this library the human voice is like no other instrument for conveying mood and emotion and feeling and if you want to move people this is a hundred percent the library to do it with that's it we've had loads of fun making it we all hope you have loads of fun using it any questions drop them in the comments and we'll see you on the next one take care